on to the next, which is the competition rig. Has to be under six foot, 10 inches long. Looks a little weird with 30 inch tank, but I think she actually is gonna be a pretty, pretty nice pit. But uh, I was about to show y'all how we do the firebox cutout. And uh, here, I'll just kind of run it down for y'all real quick. So you got a 30 inch pipe and half of that is 15, which is great level. And what I like to do is run the grate in between my cutout, like my vent in from the firebox. And so right here, first off, what you're gonna have to do is get your tank level, it's level and like, we like to run that level off the back end. So to get to, we gotta get to 15 uh, right here. So this is eight, that's eight. And we do three inches of insulation. And so three inches of insulation, this is actual firebox, by the way, three inches gets us 11. And so the middle, we're, we're trying to get to the middle of this with the grate. And so from there, we so 11, and we gotta get to 15, we need four more inches. So bam, four more inches. We're at great level. So we got pretty lucky with this one because you know, most of the time we either gotta lift the firebox up, put some shims on it, or uh, do the same thing with the tank. But get pretty lucky with this one. I'm gonna show you all how we, how we mark this and everything. So uh, this one, we're gonna come four inches off the weld seam because it's gonna be a competition rig and I wanna, I wanna try to keep that radiant heat as far as away as, as I can from the grate. And if we have to, we're gonna end up having to put a plate in like right in here to kind of take that radiant heat away. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do in, in the time lapse, but I'm gonna take this marker, which you can see, I already have it in position. That's the middle of this pipe. I don't know if you can see it. Mark right there and that's the middle, which I kind of messed it up. <laughs> but that's the middle of this pipe right here. And that's the middle of that pipe right there. So that's all lined up. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this rod right here and I'm gonna tape this. I'm gonna tape this down to the side of it and try to get, try to get this as close as I can to the bottom because obviously, as you know, if I go up, you know, that could be a almost a half inch off cut, which I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world but I'm trying to get this as perfect as I can. So what I'm gonna do in theory, is I'll show you real quick. Obviously this is pretty straight and I'll try to do it with a marker, but we're gonna come at it and just mark it along. And what happens is obviously this is flat and that's a kind of arced in. You gotta keep it down on it and the marker will go out and keep going out we still want to keep this down, but it, like I said, it, it, you need something like, something like this, maybe with a sharp point on it. And uh, you're gonna take that flat end and keep going and just kind of, you can scratch it if you can get that sharp enough down and just keep going, keep going. And we got a mark right here, four inches off the cap. We get to that and we, we make the mark after we scratch it with this. Or if I can get that marker, you know, right there on that end to work, then it'll be marked and ready to go. But yeah, that's how we do it. And after that, I'm gonna take the plasma, cut that out. And I still gotta clean up this firebox. It, uh, yeah, it needs a lot of grinding, but this is just kind of where we're at and a little update. Hopefully I can, you know, keep the camera on and film for y'all more. I know I said I'd like to do at least like weekly little updates, but right now with uh, Thanksgiving, and like I said, I still work full time. It's kind of hard, but uh, sorry for the wind noise. We're about to have a big storm roll in. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if it lightens. Yep, there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but we actually got a 500 gallon over here, over there, right there. You can kind of see the glare, but uh, we need to clean it up and get it done and that one's going back to the Lubbock, Lubbock that's the double I'll insert a picture of that picture of that and uh yeah so yeah it's a little update like I said I'm gonna try to keep you all updated on and off and you know hopefully this little tip right here helps y'all mark y'all's firebox I know I mean we get a lot of questions about that and 
it's kind of a hard, I wouldn't say a hard mark. It's just kind of, you know, we try to get it as close as we can. And if you're not exact, it's not bad. You can fill it with a weld and grind it. So, all right, guys, I don't know if this will do it justice. I know we got rain coming. Hopefully it doesn't hit while I'm doing this, but kind of made a little rig right there, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, what you want to do is you want to keep it this flat part along the, the tank. And as you can see, my mark from earlier is a little off, but you keep it and you're gonna push it as you go. Just kinda, oops, that's up there. But you're gonna push this in forward, because you're going forward with that cut. And that's how we, that's how we get our our cuts and sometimes like I said it's not exactly perfect but this has been our luck with it so once you get to that four inches you'll notice and uh yeah but and sometimes you gotta grind it and trim it a little bit more and it's not not the easiest mark in the world but this makes it a whole lot easier. I'll say that. So like I said, you're gonna push this. When you fall in the tank, you're gonna push it forward. And you kind of see this. I'll show y'all. So you kind of see the mark coming and this is four inches, so you're gonna run that up. That's gonna be a flat cut on the bottom because it's a flat nose in cap, well, in cap firebox. And then this side, you can kind of see, like I said, it's never really perfect, but that's the best way we figure it out. And as you can see, but yeah, now it's time to mark it up real good and get to cutting that thing.
All right, boys, we had a productive day. I don't know if I'm gonna put this all in one video or not, uh, but as you see, we got the door all done and all we gotta do is weld the firebox on. We got it mounted where it needs to go and yeah. So we got a lot more to do. Obviously the handle, still gotta cut the hole for the stack. So we gotta cut the stack and uh, the drain we still got to weld up this, clean it up, put the door, the outer door thing on and do that. But we're not too far off. I say maybe two more videos on this pit. Probably just one, honestly, after this one. Or uh, there may just be three in total, I guess. Three little updates. But we got to still clean that one up. Got busy with Thanksgiving and... So we gotta clean the stack up and uh, weld it down all the way and clean it, like paint the stack. We gotta finish the wood rack on it. And yeah, and that one's gonna go back to Lubbock and then we got two more of those. And then we'll be caught up and we're gonna build, uh, like I told y'all, we're gonna build the backyard. I'm gonna show y'all a little sneak peek, got a little stash going on, but uh, so this is a 200 gallon they're like super hard to find and this is what i'm gonna make my little backyard out of i think i'm gonna do two doors on it and yeah so but uh hope y'all had a happy thanksgiving and stayed safe and enjoyed some family time but all right i'll catch y'all with the next update peace out